Cash Over Intelligence, welcome to the video. Glad to have you all here with me today. Send us some love, some positive vibes your way, especially if you need it out there today. Oh, we're going to go all in today, guys. We're pushing our proverbial poker chips all in the center of the table in hopes of getting our hands on this absolute monster. That's right. It's the faction Unity Lord from the Demon Spawn faction. This guy looks insane. Like, look at these aesthetics, man. Osama, give me some music on this guy oh my god he is the coolest looking lord in the game in my opinion we're not gonna talk about it until we pull this guy but we're gonna go all in like i said i have 207 ancient shards we have a 2x a, a, a chance for legendaries excuse me and then we also have the 10x for uh for our guy here volcanos volcanos fumer very cool name too uh what do you think of that champion did any of uh you guys out there get your hands on him brag about it a little bit in the comments below or complain that you didn't get him invent a little bit in the comments below also uh we're gonna do a hundred dollars to charity for Against Malaria. Against Malaria is a charity that we really started with here on the channel, and it's a very, very worthy cause. More kids die of malaria than almost any other disease in Sub-Saharan Africa, and it's preventable with mosquito nets. They cost about $1.50 each. We can save lives 400000 a year. Die needlessly uh, just by a small donation. Even if you can only afford a dollar or two, it really does make an impact. If you want to save a child's life, this is the best way to do it in terms of bang for your buck. I'll have a link for you guys in the comments below. Let's get to it here, guys. I'm ready to pull some legendary champions. Let's do it. All right. I've been, inter I've been uh, interjecting the uh, the wrestler voice <laughs> from time to time here a little bit more often on the channel. We have Karim. We have Doom Priest. I still love good old Doom Priest. That beautiful little cleanse off of that bolster passive in her kit. You gotta love it. Shani, I'm not that high on. Wooji, she's not that good, but I'm still trying to talk myself into her. She's got that AoE on the A1 potential, right? We'll target all enemies when counterattacking. And then she has the counterattack on the A3, right? So I've been wanting to use her. The only problem is you can't tell it on this screen, but her base HP is like... 10k or something it's like so low one of the lowest in the game so keeping her alive is a challenge all right we got knight errant we got lady quillen we got vogoth we get defiled sinner it is raining epic some good some uh not so good i can handle that i'm fine i know everyone keeps saying that i'm losing it but i am holding it together uh okay i can use a little bit of help it's raining epics nonetheless all right, here we go, here we go, here we go. I smell that first legendary. Give it to me. Come on. Uh, wait, wait, wait. I didn't mean my first streak of almost all blues. Crimson Helm and Yella Gurna. Okay, Candlehead. We love you. Crimson Helm, I actually used her quite a bit in the early game. A little nostalgia there between me and Mrs. Helm. Uh, Preserver, Pentinent, Rockbreaker. Ha, oh, a lot of nostalgia with me and Rockbreaker. This guy carried me. Hard carry. I was on the little, the little dwarf's back. The little fella carried me through the red boss. Faction Wars 21 dwarves with the, uh, not just the provoke and, and being tanky, but that passive, right? Ironhide. Little RNG there, but faction keys don't cost anything. I just redid it and redid it and redid it until he decreased that damage by 50% and stayed alive. And thus, I got my Lydia way back in the day. All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh, come on. Come on. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. You might want to fast forward because I'm going to do it. Oh, God. No, no, no. Rock, Sam. You don't have to put on the red light. Hate this dude. Freaking hate this dude. <laughs> he looks cool. I'll give him that. Aesthetically, this guy looks amazing. I wish he was better but some of you guys love him but he's all conditional under veils or perfect veils and four turn cooldowns and i don't know he's uh oh, he's not what we were looking for let's just put it that way but that's a hundred dollars to charity can't complain about that i hate that guy and he vexes me he hexes me every time i feel like i pull that guy like every time i do an ancient summoning he's there uh urticata the bug Ah, the bug lady. Pretty good looking for a bug, I would say. Girl, look at that body. Yeah, have a little bug fetish. Learn something new every day about yours truly. Why am I not surprised? Achak. I like Achak too. 
really cool aesthetics. I've always loved the, I kind of like, that's why I like Gamoran too. I kind of like the, uh, the kind of the white vibes with like the, the dark white aesthetic. I kind of like that. Anyway, Frozen Banshee, Nizana. Half the audience are like, just shut up and just pull. Just shut up. Sure, once in a while, I'll get like a new viewer who's not accustomed to my ways. And they'll, like, they'll be like, does this guy ever shut up in the comments? Always a good comment to read, like, first thing you wake up. Like, oh, what's going on in the YouTube? Oh, does this guy ever shut up? Oh, cool. Gizkar the Seguiled. Not bad. Not a bad champion at all. Does have the increased defense, increased attack on a three-turn cooldown on the same ability. So until you get, like, a Mithrala... He can be a nice little carry for your team. He also has a nice provoke on the A2. I'm gonna make room, I'll be right back, and let's get some more legendaries, guys. What do you say? All right, guys, we're back at it here. We're back at it. A lot of champions, a lot of epics to empower after that first batch. It's been like a hot minute since I've done an Ancient Shard opening here. I don't know. I, I'm sure I've done one this year, but it doesn't feel like it. Bunch of blues. Meh. Meh. Doesn't feel like it. All right, here we go. I've been saving up my sacreds because I have it in my mind that I want to like save an ungodly amount, like a hundred of them over a whole year, and then just do one big video when there's that really special champion that comes along. Really special champion. But God knows I'll probably just be doing a sacred chart opening the next time there's a 2X event or something like that instead. We have Stagnite, one of my goats. Speaking of that white aesthetic, I love Stagnite too, right? It just must be, yeah, I don't know. I, he looks so cool. I mean, I love the antlers too. Like, it, it just, what a cool vibe on this champion. Uh, Aox, remember, very good. Longsword Turox, very good as well. Ironclad can have a lot of fun with that champion. So, some decent pulls there, but no legendary. Not what we came for, not what we're looking for. The chips are still in the middle of the table, but they're starting to dwindle down a little bit. Okay, dude in the runic. I love that guy too. Love that cleanse off his A1 with a counterattack and the taunt. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Come on, man. Muck Stalker Blood and Muck Kale. Zargala. Unless they're gonna add a rare empowerment to the game, how about not adding the starting champions in the pool? Abyssal, I guess you gotta pull the rest of them, right? The, the ones you didn't go for. So maybe, maybe I, I take that back. Spider Slayer, Avir. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. Something good. This is a good batch of 10. I can feel it. I can smell it. I can taste it. Still waiting for the really good part. Okay, I was wrong. Again. Uh, be right back again, guys. Hey, we got a Halloween treat at the time of this recording. It's not Halloween, but we'll take the treat. Oh, so we get some artifacts. Okay, pretty cool, pretty cool what we get. Retaliation helmet, regeneration helmet with no speed. Defense flat stat, uh, okay, okay. Uh, speed, no. All right, awesome, awesome, okay, cool. Hey guys, apropos of absolutely nothing, I gotta ask the three of you still watching, name changer, have you ever done it? Have you ever done it? I'm thinking about, here's the thing, I see some people in the comments, the, the, these, these other fellow Krakens swimming around in live arena, in the, like a few people have commented now, a few of you guys saying, Ash, I know all your champion stats in terms of my speeds mainly, in my builds, you know, who's in stone skin, who's in whatever. And uh, it's pretty easy when I face you in live arena. So it's, I've seen enough of those comments now, like not a ton, but like enough that I'm like, should I name change every time I play live arena? I wanna ask for your opinion. If you were me, would you name change to be more incognito in live arena or would you just own it? So far, I've just owned, I'm like, okay, whatever, you know, so I lose a match that maybe I would have won, probably not, you know? Anyway, what am I doing? I'm going to the dungeon. I'm in the middle of a shard opening video. Ash, come on, bro. Focus, focus, focus. Let's get back to the legendaries. So far, we've just got a stupid Roxanne. Spider, Aox again. Yelagurna again. Same epics again and again here. We should have a plus four Aox at the end of this video, as well as Candlehead. We have a Riab, we had a War Maiden, an Ice Crusher, a Crimson, another Lone Blade, an Ulfrig, a Siege Breaker. Ugh, I like Ulfrig, I've said that a lot, but he's a cool little champion. Not the best epic, but definitely like really solid. Another Superior Bogwalker. Petrifia, really solid there. Uh, missionary, eh, who likes Missionary? I do. 
<laughs> He's a good champion. All right, here we go. We got Pig Sticker. We got Muck Stalker. Medicus Crimson Headsman. Medicus Bone Knight Crimson. Golly, Fortress Goon. Get the hell out of here. All right, all right, all right. Calm down. Coffin Smasher Flesh Monk. Is this a 2X event or is this a, is this a big joke right now? What the... Okay, okay. There is... Alright, Mashal is actually really good. Really good, but... He's just not what we're looking for, but he's really good. I already have him, obviously, uh, or I'd be a little bit more excited if it was my first pull. Mashal is one of those champions. First of all, he used to be like one of the worst in the game, right? He's really solid now like in almost every area. He's got this tornado ability on the A2 that has the increased crit damage, the increased speed, and then that, that, that very, very valuable extra turn. The cool thing is he's got the true fear and the leech on all enemies. So that leech with a two turn cooldown and the true fear with a two turn, excuse me, uptime, with the extra turn, keeps it at 100% uptime on allies and enemies. You can go back in with the turn meters, uh, the, the buff steal, excuse me, on the uh, the A3 and the potential AOE with the leech on the A1. And again, unless they have a cleanser on their team, they're probably always going to be under the leech. I think the Mashalv is amazing. Very underrated i want to say like no one talks about michelle as being like a really you know top tier champion that i in my circles at least and he's really good but he's just not who we're looking for here in this video Cornelia, wirian lady annabelle lady annabelle man oof she's the best pretty nails she got the little miss annie stole her ability i didn't even notice guys that lady annabelle has like some gunky cloud stuff coming out of her hands you see that like black Oil? Gunk? Oh my god. How about that? Sanguine Exchange, the Red Lady, and Captivator, and oh, Covetous Nails. So I guess those are, that's the Covetous, like just leaking out. All right, guys. Uh, <laughs> you know what? Damn it. Let me make room one last time. Something tells me I'm going to walk away with 20 and come back with more. Be right back. Okay, guys, so we magically got about 100 more. So we're at like 400 ancient shards. No big deal. No big deal. I don't have a problem. Here we go. You know what I really want right now on my account? I don't know how you guys are doing with Faction Guardians, uh, but <laughs> I've uh, really been dying to get the Sylvan Watchers final speed. I have one allele just chilling. Obviously, I'm not even opening Void Shards, so I have no sh real shot at getting the additional allele. Uh, but... Man, I really want that 10 speed so badly in Sylvan Watchers. There's so many good Sylvan Watcher champions. How are you guys doing on your, your legendary faction guardians? Do any of you have anybody out there have all of them complete? If so, do you have any? Any complete? Let me know about it. Anyway, here we go, guys. We got a Sinesha. We got a bunch of blues. Next. Come on. Come on. This is getting ridiculous now. Give me something really good here. By the way, th that rare who's a part of this fusion right now, he looks super, super solid. I'll probably, probably, if I when I get once I get him, I'll probably do a guide even before this video because I'm so excited to spotlight that champion. But anyway, here we go, here we go. Renouncer in a bunch of blues. Gosh, jeez. Come on, give me some Legos. Whatever happened to the making it rain? You ever see those screenshots of like three or four legendaries on one 10 pole? I want one of those. It's been a long time. All right, here we go. Executioner, Hellbound Sprite, Chaplain, Avir, Hellborn, Tayrell, Executioner. Tayrell still pretty solid. Still pretty solid. Maiden Hurler, Wagon Bane, Snorting Stupid Thug, Trash Champion, Solaris, and, and Acolyte. Oh my God. Uh, be right back. <laughs> All right, guys, I've been digging into my diamonds along the way. You probably noticed as well. So that stockpile is dwindling. All right, we get Jotun. We get, come on, man. Gee whiz, anybody in your clans get lucky and get their hands on this guy? I got to look at my clan chat and see if anybody's bragging about it or not. Chancellor Yasmin, Greybeard, Lady Annabelle again. Okay, okay, Warden. Warden, what a trash, trash champion. I'm number one in the tournament. Number one in the summoning tournament is never a good thing to aim for. It means it means another code word as a stop sign. Stop now. Stop. All right. But yet we keep going. Why does it keep going? Here we go. 
Trunda! Oh, I love you, Trunda. I love you, Trunda. But you're not what we're looking for. Any of you guys have any thoughts on the post nerf rework Trunda, whatever the heck you want to call it? I think she's still very good in Hydra. Uh, but Hydra's so hard, you know, comparatively that she still feels like she got a nerf to me, but she's still one of the goats, still one of the best out there. The Trunda team still work. I have not noticed the Cloak of Ages rework making her shine any more or or even the passive than she did previously in any area that's on my account but let me know if you have a different experience specifically in pvp or any areas outside of hydra with the new trunda we get a fame we get a gorgorab so we've gotten a trunda we've gotten a uh who is our mashald and we got stupid roxim that feels like yesterday that i pulled roxim this is a long Shard opening video. <laughs> Deathless Marksman Fire Gun. Be right back! All right, I've depleted my entire gem storage buying more shards, and that's it, guys. This is it. We got 37 in a prayer, and we have an FLO. Oh, 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 oh. Jack Bonesaw? God darn it. Man, rev it up. Rev it up, Jaggy. Go ahead. Sorry about that. Oh, Jag. Oh, Jag. Oh, Jag. I don't really care for Jag Bonesaw. I know some of you guys do. He's, uh, you know, give me Varl the Destroyer any day over Jag Bonesaw. He's not, like, awful, but... He's just not my fave, and I felt like that was it. That was, you know, nice pulls, not exactly. If we didn't get our guy, Fenax, I love, man. He's he's a boss. He's a, what's up, Fenny? What's up, man? All right, this is it. We got like tw 10, 20, I don't know. Who cares? Just like, give me a double Lego to end things off. Come on, Plarium. Come on, you're supposed to rig my account. Come on! All right, we get seven solo pulls as a grand finale. Let's do this. We get one uh, adjudicator. Awesome. Nope, nope, nope. Two. It's blue. And it's Apothecary. We love you, Apothecary, but you're not the answer. Not the answer. All right, number three. We're moving on up to Epics, and we got Chancellor Yasmin. Don't really love you, Chancellor Yasmin, but, you know. Props to you. All right, we have a Harris a Hurler. Not, don't call me Harris Specs Void. Hurler, Ash. All right, all right, all right. We get a witness. There we go. Can I get up? And then two more, two more. Oh, up. Oh. We get a Spy Master, Spy Master, and last but not least, it's a legendary. No, it's a blue, and it's a freaking hatchet slinger. Well, guys. <laughs> It's funny, I almost thought about titling this video, Pulling Ancients Until I Get the New Lord. Thank God I didn't do that. Thank God I didn't do that. Hey, we still walked away with three or four legendaries. I'll have to recount. But thanks for watching till the end of the video. Just not in the cards today. Much love and as always, take care, guys.